So as we uh, get set to put our uh, roller rocker shaft onto our uh, aluminum head here that we've been working on, this is of course our Sprite race engine. Uh, take a second here to show a trick little piece. Um, these things when you uh, run these for extended periods at high RPM, the way the oiling is, when you have a full roller rocker set, a lot more oil can gush through a roller bearing, a needle roller bearing, than does through the bushing. So you end up with a situation where you can fill up the uh, valve cover um, at high RPMs because the oil doesn't drain out fast enough. All you have for drain outs on these engines are the push rod holes and uh, they're busy. So you end up filling up the valve cover. So what we do is we want to restrict the oil flow due to the use of these roller rockers. I'm going to set this down here upside down and show the trick little piece we made. This, just a little oil restrictor that I made. It's got a 90 thousandths hole through it. Um, over here we've got a 125 thousandths, an eighth of an inch hole through for the oiling. So we've restricted about 30-40% eh, of it. And what's cool about this, the fit, it just drops right into that little bore. Nice tight fit. It's below the level of the surface there, so that can just sit there, trapped on the underside against the cylinder head here. Let me move over where the shadow isn't. The way the oiling on these aluminum heads works, rather than having a hole through the uh, cylinder head intersecting over here and going in at an angle, they elected to cut a groove on the underside, run the oil to the bottom of this head stud, make the hole for the head stud large enough that oil can come up the shank of the stud, where it then goes into this groove, all this is trapped underneath our pedestals for the roller rocker set. So in our case we're adding about a 60,000th shim because of our long valves. As a starting point here, we'll take a look at how that looks, but we can see how that sits, the oil holes exposed, and the little plug that we made is going to be trapped in there, restricting the oil flow to the top end. We wanted to be on the safe side. Uh, I've seen these down smaller holes for really full race engines. Um, in this case, we want to be absolutely certain that we have enough oil in all situations for our end rocker shaft. It would be a catastrophe to have too little, a bit of an inconvenience if, uh, if we still have too much oil. We can, uh, we can dial it in a bit later. All right, on with the show.